Hi everyone, this is Pierre Rick from P2Design. Blender 4 new bone collection system quite changes the way we organize our bones. And that's for the better, and more is to come. But the problem is, our beloved bone manager add-on doesn't work with collection, and doesn't work anymore with Blender 4. And if we want to create custom rig UI, we have to use good old Python scripting. Fortunately, a new add-on just landed and it has ton of features to customize your rig UI. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that the new chapter of Nicholas Real-Time VFX course Ablaze just landed. If you want to learn how to create flexible water shader in Unreal Engine 5 along with super cool real-time VFX, jump onto the course on p2designacademy.com. Let's now have a look to the Animate Pro Rig UI add-on by Nacho De Andres. You can get a lead version for free and a pro version at an affordable early access price on both Blender Market and Gumroad. I'm not affiliated, I just think it's a great add-on for riggers. Bone collections can be found under the amateur properties. If you're used to work with the Bone Manager add-on, I advise you to open another properties editor next to your 3D viewport. This way you can expand the bone collection panel along the whole height of your screen. Also, you can pin the armature to this properties panel to have your collections display at any time. The collection can be hidden using the eye icon. You can move a bone to a collection by pressing M. It's the same shortcut as with previous versions of Blender, and Shift-M allows you to add or remove a bone from one or multiple collections. A white dot indicates in which collection a bone is stored. Discover more about Blender for rigging features in my previous video. Both the lit and pro version will be downloadable as zipped file. To install it, go to Edit Preferences, Add-on, and click Install from Zip. Look at the file, confirm, and then enable the add-on. As we do so, we get access to some panel settings, but they are also available in the add-on. Once installed, you will find a new tab in your end panel called Rig UI. The Rig UI setup is where we will build our custom Rig UI. The Rig UI panel is our current Rig UI, and we'll be able to preview it in the preview panel. Let's enter edit mode. Here I can find all the collection I created when I was rigging the character. Here you can see what each column corresponds to. To add a collection to the custom rig UI, we simply need to pin it. As I do so, you can see the collection appearing in the rig UI. All my collections are stored in a single row, but the torso and torso FK collections. You can define in which row a collection should appear by giving it a number. All my collection uses the row number 1, but torso and torso FK. These use the row number 2 and appear in the second row in the rig UI. So let me assign some of the collection to different rows real quick. In each row, we can decide the position of a collection using the priority value. If I increase the priority value of torso tweak to 3, the collection goes to the third position. Let's talk a bit about those options. You can choose to display or not the name of a collection. As I do so, you can see the names disappearing in our custom rig UI. Now, you may think that it doesn't really make sense, but it does, because instead of displaying the name, or on top of displaying the name, we can display icons, and we can choose any icon from Blender library. So I could use a row for my torso controller, and use icons to display or hide, my tweaker bone in FK chain. And let's be honest, Nacho did a great job with this add-on. You can copy an existing icon by control clicking it and paste it by shift clicking. If icons are not your thing, you can remove them by alt clicking them. Once you're done creating your custom rig UI, you can exit edit mode. In the rig UI panel and the preview panel, you can choose to display the header and the box background. You can also increase the spacing between the button, both horizontally and vertically. Finally, through edit mode in the general options, you can choose where to display the custom UI. By default, it's displaying the current rig UI panel, but as I prefer, I can easily set it to the item tab by typing in item and clicking the refresh button. If I now go to the item tab, I can find my custom rig UI. It's almost the same process as with the Bone Manager. There are some other little features, but that will take so much time to cover everything. Get ready for the Pro version. 
The first cool news is that whatever rig UI you created with the lead version, it's compatible with the pro version. But we already noticed a small difference. This eye icon that allow us to toggle the visibility of the different collections. While clicking a single collection name will isolate its visibility. Not too shabby, but there's something more. If you hover over a collection name, you can see that there are several options. When you shift click a collection name, you will select all the bones in that collection. When you select a bone, the collection it belongs to will appear in blue in the UI, allowing you to easily isolate the said collection. Honestly, just those little features are really worth it. But the pro version goes way beyond that, so we will just check the tip of the iceberg. You can find some options in the header. You can work without the eye icon. Alt-clicking a collection will hide it. It's handy to have the eye icon if you're working on a tablet and you're emulating the third mouse button. The Armature Extra is great for riggers. You can switch between rest position and pose position. You can open the pose library. You can switch between object pose and edit mode. You can change the display mode of the bones, if you're displaying their names, if they are in front, if you want to display their axis, if you want to display the custom shapes and their color. Now, you may not need all those options. Well, you can click this icon to enter panel edit mode. And from there, you can choose which option you want to be displayed by pinning or unpinning them. Once done, just exit edit mode and here you are. The arrow button allows you to enter move mode. This way, you can add or remove the selected bones to the collections. It's a little more visual than using the M shortcut. We just saw the differences in the existing UI, but what in edit mode? Now, in the general settings, we can choose where to display the custom rig UI. We can choose to export the custom rig UI as a standalone script, but we won't have all the functionalities of the add-on. And finally, we can reorder the different modules. If you want your armature extra under your rig UI, for example, you can move it there. If we now move on to the collections, we have a new option called Groups. By default, all your collections are ungrouped. We can create new groups through the Bone Collection UI groups, and we can choose how they will be displayed. I will stick to the box mode for the time being and create a first group. Now, through the Rig UI panel, I can easily assign a collection to a group. What happened is now those collections are stored in a specific group in a specific box. So let me create several groups and assign to them the different collection. As I do so, you can see my Rig UI preview evolving. And we are slowly getting closer to what Rigify's offer in terms of Rig UI. And for each group, you can choose if you want to display the label or not. You can make them collapsible boxes. You can highly customize your Rig's UI display. In a couple of weeks, Blender will turn 30. And while Blender is free, making it even more awesome does cost money. So if you love Blender and you want to help developing it, a donation will be greatly appreciated. I'm not endorsed by Blender nor the Blender Foundation, but this software and its community changed my life and it may change yours. There is no small donation. If you can give $5 once, that's already a huge step forward. And if you can't give $5, that's perfectly fine. Just help us spread the word. I can't show you all the features in one video, but let's have a look to the bookmarks. I will enter edit mode on the rig UI setup and I will go to the bookmarks. Let's say I want to be able to display only the inverse kinematic legs. I will just hide all the other collection and I will create a new bookmark. As I do so, the current collection visibility is stored in that bookmark. So let me do that for the torso. I will display all the torso collections and hide all the other collection and create a new bookmark that I will call torso. And then I can exit edit mode. If I now click on the leg IK bookmark, only the collection assigned will be shown. I did a little mistake on my leg bookmark and added the gun. I can hide the gun collection, shift click the leg IK bookmark and it will be updated. When I select it again, the gun collection is no longer displayed. And yet again, you can see all the shortcuts by hovering over one of the bookmark. Another cool thing about the bookmark, it's not limited to the collection displayed in the rig UI. Let's say you always use the same controllers on a finger, for example, you can store them in a dedicated collection and store this collection in a bookmark. 
One of my favorites is to have a bookmark to display all my rig UIs collections. The last feature I want to show you are custom properties. If I go into edit mode, we can see that we have properties there. I will refresh to load all the custom properties of my rig. And there are a bunch. The first cool thing is that through the UI you can select the bone that has the custom property. And as usual, if you create your custom properties, let's say to create a neck or head rotation follow, a switch between inverse kinematics and forward kinematics, you can then pin those custom properties and the add-on will automatically add them to your custom rig UI. From there, you can create custom groups as we did for the collections. I grouped my custom properties in different collapsible panels and here I have my custom rig UI. You can toggle the visibility of your bookmarks, collection, custom properties, rig extra whenever you want. Now the little cherries on the cake. The first one, what if you are a Rigify user? If it's the case, through edit mode you can load the Rigify rig UI into the rig UI setup panel so that you can change it if you want. And the same function is planned for AutoRig Pro rigs. Finally, if you like to work with a clean workspace whenever you're animating, Nacho got us covered. You can press Shift Y and the custom rig UI panel will appear on screen as a pop up panel. So you can work without having your panel enabled all the time, and you can customize it from there too. Nacho is still working on functionalities for this add-on, so it will probably evolve. But believe me, I haven't shown you everything it does, and I think it's a great tool for both animators and riggers. With that being said, I wish you a good end of the year, stay healthy, cheers!